Okay, one of the things I noticed is that his chin was out too far. That's why I took the head off, or face off. And now I'm going to trim it down a little bit, and I'm going to heat up a knife to cut through the clay easily. Okay, that looks better. Okay, I'm trying to uh, get the neckline worked out here and the, the collar and the jawline. There's still foam right there, it's just a lump. metal tool. Actually, the bottom of the ear should line up with a young person, uh, the bottom of his nose, and I think he was in his 40s at the time, or 30s, so he's still fairly young. Earlobes hadn't lengthened yet. Now it's just a matter of smoothing the face out the best I can. Whoop, phone call. Alright, what I'm going to do now is start putting hair texture in. I'm not going to get over blown with it because I just, uh, it's just too small for that, but, uh, and I didn't have that much in the, uh, in the original. I just indicated the hair texture the original. I'm going to do all this before I put the hat back on.
Okay, it's time to put the ribbon on his hat. And uh, so, yeah, this clay's got so much other stuff mixed in with it. I mean, for instance, this wax from the, uh, yeah. just a little bit of detail in it and I'm going to use my silicone chip tool to do that you know some of the folds in the ribbon itself a part of the ribbon that's tied right here indicates that and it's got little striations going across it all right now all right there's a elastic that comes down there that holds the ribbon in place. And there's a little button, brass button, right there. Okay, this is my tri-corner hat. Let's see if, oh, can you see it? Yeah. Anyway, you can see that the, the ribbon has that little button down there. Oh, and I just noticed something else. I gotta put those, these little uh, straps here that uh, keep the tri-corner tri-corner in the back as well. Now it's time to do a little fine tuning using my uh, lighter fluid which is this stuff here and I just put on a fine brush I use a professional oil painters brush and uh, if, you, if you know a guy who does oil painting he probably has a lot of brushes that he would throw away because they run out of usefulness when their their bristles start wearing away this one I I bought, but uh, a lot of times you can get a good brush from an oil painter. The uh, reason I use these is because they don't shed the uh, hairs. The last thing you need is to have uh, little bristles in your clay. Now the lighter fluid, what it does is it generally melts the clay a little and lets you smooth out areas that are kind of rough. 
I was a little worried that I could even do this. But it worked out pretty good. Not totally unhappy. Just a pause for the cause, so to speak. Um, this video is brought to you by me. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you my uh, seven DVDs that I have available. Uh, this one's on creating a male bust in clay. Uh, this one is a, a supplemental video called uh, Clay to Bronze. It's a tour of the uh, foundry. And uh, but anyway, I've got uh, sweet grass. I've got a uh, life-size bust. I got a full-size figure of a mountain man and an Indian woman holding a baby. These are the seven that I have. Um, there'll probably be more in the near future. I'm going to be doing one on a horse. But uh, here I'm going to take a break and show you how to purchase these uh, DVDs online. Let's see if I can get it on there. A Day in the Life of a Lemon, block dot blogspot dot com. That's my website. And uh, when you get there, this is the, the home page. And you'll see up here at the top right hand column, get my thing there's here. a buy now t uh, tab right there. And what you do is you just click on this uh, little drop down menu and you got all six of my DVDs uh, Mount here. Mask. And then right at the bottom is this Clay to Bronze, which is the uh, founder tour. And as you can see, it's uh, not as expensive as the ones above. If you don't understand anything on this page, here's a uh, language uh, thing here. Uh, you just drop this uh, menu down and you can select any language uh, that you speak. And we'll get back to the uh, uh, sculpture that I'm working on in progress.